my cup runneth over with whatever I want to put in it. What's cracking, Power Director peeps? It's Saturday. And today, I'm going to show you how to make the drink mask effect using Power Director 18 and Power Director 365. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. If you're going to use the drink mask effect in your next video, I want you to put hashtag drink mask in the comment section below. Here we are in Power Director. The drink mask effect makes it appear that something besides a normal drink is in your glass or your cup. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the drink mask effect for your videos. Let's have a whale of a cup. As you can see, I have a video clip in the media library of a nice breakfast, which just happens to be centered around a cup of coffee, the most important meal of the day. Now, I also have another clip in the media library, and it is a clip of a mama whale and a baby whale in the ocean. The magnificence and grace of these animals astounds me. No, it don't. I'm just saying that because I want to make y'all laugh or do something crazy. I don't know why I said it, but I said it. Now, what I want to do is make it appear that the whales are inside of the cup of coffee. So, the few things you need to do to get that done. First thing you need to do is you need to drag the coffee clip to track one. You want to left click on it, hold down your left mouse button, and then drag it down to track one. Then you want to place the clip of the whale that you want to place inside of your tea or whatever object you're placing inside of your tea down to track two. So you want to go ahead and hold down your left mouse, drag this down to track two. This clip is too long, so you can split off the end. You can trim it, trim the front, trim the rear, trim whatever you want to. I'm going to trim off the front part because I like what happens at the end. So I'm going to place my cursor at the front until I see two arrows pointed in opposite directions. Hold down my left mouse, and I'm going to drag this over. And that looks good there. Now I'm going to right click on the space in front of the part that I trimmed out in order to remove it. And then I'm going to select remove and move all clips after removed gap. And now they are the same size. I'm going to go ahead and move my playhead to the beginning of this clip as well. The next thing we need to do is resize the clip of the mama and baby whale. So I'm going to left click on it. I'm going to go up here to designer. Now I'm going to select PIP designer. Now to change the scale, you can place your cursor over one of the nodes until you see a diagonal arrow pointed in both directions. Hold down your left mouse and you can drag it to change the size. Then you can place your cursor over any part of the video until you see a crosshairs with arrows pointed in four different directions. Hold down your left mouse. You can drag the whale right over where you think the center of the coffee is. Now, I already know exactly where I want to place it, so I'm going to go ahead and change the scale and the position using the numbers over here on the left. So for the scale, I know that I want it right over that coffee, and that's at 0 0.895. And hit enter. And then for the position for X, I'm going to change that to 0 0.747 and hit enter and for the y position i'm going to do 0 0.593 and hit enter now keep in mind these aren't going to be the parameters you need to enter because your picture is different or your video is different and you just need to make sure that whatever you have is centered over that coffee cup and so now that i have all that done i'm going to go ahead and click on ok and this clip is still active. So what I want to do now is go up to designer. And I want to select mask designer. Now I need to choose a mask so that I can get rid of everything except the portion that's going to be over the cup. Then I'm going to need to position everything so that it's perfectly over the cup. So the mask that I want to use is a oval mask that already has feathering around it. So it's this one here. So I'm going to left click on it. And now I want to go ahead and make sure that I can freeform changes to the shape. And in order to do that, I need to go down to the mask scale section and I need to uncheck where it says maintain aspect ratio. Now, the next thing you can do is you can go ahead and resize it. So you can, once again, place your cursor over a node till you see the line with the two um, arrows. Hold down your left mouse. You can change the size. 
you can drag it over. And as you see, once I get it over here, you can see, hey, there's the whale because I placed it perfectly or at least where I wanted it. I placed it over the cup. So now we can see the whale. We can see the water. Everything's working out well. You can go ahead and use your nodes to change the size. Now, once again, I pretty much know exactly where I want this. So I'm going to go ahead and use the parameters again to place this exactly where I want it. Now, once again, keep in mind, these are the parameters for my video so that it fits where I want it to be. You will need to use a nodes to get it where you want to, just like I showed you at the beginning. And now that you have everything lined up where you want it, you go ahead and click on OK. And go ahead and play it back. That's one whale of a cup. And that's how you make a drink mask effect using Cyberlink PowerDirector 18 and PowerDirector 365. If you decide that you like PowerDirector and you want to buy or upgrade to the software or purchase a 365 annual subscription, I'll leave some links in the video description. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.